Next in the series of uh, manifesting what your deepest desires and dreams are, the thing to get is that you have already up to this point manifested what you think about, what you spoke about, what you, what your deepest feelings are about yourself. So right now you are the sum total of all the energy you've put out into the universe. And so where you are, you have to let go of this woe is me victim status and turn your mind around to the fact that you're a powerful creator. You don't have to go far to find people that have all kinds of stories about what was me, how they've been held down, how they've been uh, persecuted, how they've been, something's been done to them. That's the reason they've been fired. They've been held down. They haven't been promoted. They've been yada, yada, yada. You know, I lost my job. Yeah, because you never had aspired to anything higher. So you didn't train yourself. You didn't endeavor to go um, find something to make yourself uh, more valuable to an employer. Um, whatever it is, you have to do more to have more, but you also have to be differently. So doing more isn't necessarily doing harder work. It could be that you think strategically about your dreams and desires and you become the creator of your life. So you think about how can I give more to people? How can I give more to my employer? Maybe you just become more worthy as an employee by doing more. And the energy that you bring to the workplace of I'm going to leave everything and everyone a little better than I find them in every moment, people will notice that. I can tell you from my own life that as I adopted this and discovered these principles, many, many years ago, before The Secret, I get a kick out of that title, The Secret. It's not a secret. We're all manifesting right now. Everyone's manifesting. They're manifesting their deepest desires. So before, before I discovered this, um, I was always building, I had the belief that I was always building my resume. Wherever I went, regardless who I worked for, I was building the universal resume. So as I learned and discovered some of these principles of manifesting, I realized that Having that uh, thought process all those years really helped me because I was giving more. I was giving more to my employers. I always cared. I made sure the next person coming out of the coming into the bathroom uh, where I used the sink, the sink was wiped out. The paper on the floor was picked up. Um, <clears throat> I think about the next person at work. I think about you know the coffee machine. I think about picking up trash outside the building. Um, no one has to tell me to care about my neighborhood and drive. And listen, you can drive through many neighborhoods and cities, countrysides, doesn't matter. You can see people who treat their area like crap. I can tell you what their life is like. I can tell you what their life is like. I'm not trying to be, uh, critical. I'm telling you how it works. This is how it works. This is the truth of how it works in life. So whatever you are surrounded with and whoever you're surrounded with is a reflection of your thinking. And it's a reflection of what you've created to this point. You have power you're creating. So tomorrow, commit to creating something new. Start putting out that powerful energy. Get rid of that woe is me, that victim mentality. Thanks.